I need to ask you both as well about something else we've been reporting on. You may have seen Laura Barone Lopez report earlier this week as she's been tracking some of the ramping up of violent rhetoric by former President Trump. And in fact, she included this graphic in her report, just recent remarks that she's been uh, reporting on. Earlier last month, uh, Mr. Trump suggested that General Mark Milley should be executed. Uh, he then went on to mock the assault on Paul Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi's husband. He called for shoplifters to be shot on sight late last month. And just a few days ago, he said that migrants are, quote, poisoning the blood of our country, which is echoing the language of white supremacists and of Adolf Hitler, who often invoked those words. I, I, Ruth, it's remarkable to me that I even am repeating some of these words right now, but are we at risk of becoming numb to some of this language? I, I think we've been at risk of that for the last seven years, and I think all of us around this table have struggled with the um, conflict between giving this man and his uh, odious comments oxygen, which is what he wants, which is what fuels him, and failing to um, expose them, failing to, if you are an opinion columnist like we are, failing to denounce them and uh, therefore allowing them to just percolate. I think we see this now uh, with his um, persistence in the polls, and he has clearly ramped up the rhetoric. I can't remember whether you mentioned the Mark Milley uh, yes. as well. Yes, yeah. um, I, the poison, the blood, is the part that really sickens me. Um, and we see right now the justice system trying to grapple with how to keep him under control um, as it tries to hold him to account. I think we need to be really careful not to ignore him, but we need to be really careful not to um, feed what he wants, mm. either by overreacting or underreacting. And I don't have the solution to that. That's a careful balance. David, how do you view it? Yeah, well, this is the platform for a second term. I mean, he, he's talking the way authoritarians talk, like the real hardcore authoritarians talk. And so he's got to ramp up the rhetoric continually to keep the crowd pleased. And then he's got to, he, I think he's growing increasingly as he's threatened increasingly, I don't know if deranged is too strong a word, but off. That's a good word. Well, okay, I'll stick with deranged. Uh, and so, uh, you know, the, the I, I'm, I don't know how to stop, how people like us yes. can, can stop there, this. And there's one other element in there, which is um, he's, he's doing his punching, he's deranged, he loves to do it. He is, um, but he is also trying to force these judges into overreacting and making a mistake. We expect to see more of that, I think, in the months ahead. Ruth Marcus, David Brooks, thank you so much. Always good to see you both.